It's Joe, everybody. It's Joe, it's Joe, it's Joe, it's Joe. I don't know what I'm doing. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to be playing Star Trek Fleet Command. Yes, like Star Wars Command or whatever. Star Trek Fleet Command. It's actually a very good game. I have to admit that. Um... Hmm. Well, um, I don't know. This is one of my starships. Looks like a hunk of junk. This is the other one. That also kind of looks like a hunk of junk. The first starship we start out with actually looks like an actual starship. Got a goal complete. No, I did not. It just reset. That's all. Okay, well, I have three boxes to claim. Oh, it's in a minute. Let's see what we get. Five minutes speed up. Let's see, a 15 minute speed up in the four hour and the 24 hour we get 10 recruit tokens and four latinum. Four latinum. That's good. Let's do a recruitment. Let's see what we get or who we get. Of course, we're always going to get out. Get officer XP. Um, no one know we have every, we have everyone but Gala, and I can't even say his name. Uh, not 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 the blue guy. We have him. Okay, open your daily chest. It's like the ten minute daily chest. Okay, so this is just the outside of my space station. It's not that strong. I got two starships, one defense. See? Just one defense. Okay, now let's go into the inside. Oh, shoot, I'm full. Okay, I'm full on that. Guess we need a titanium warehouse level, well, higher level. Four hours. But here's a little trick. If you want to get rid of that already, you can just do this. Even though you're practically wasting time. Because you're going to be off for like an entire hour. So no, don't do that all the time. I am getting so much. Um, let's go check out my the system. Now I'm an admiral of my alliance, so I'm the leader of the alliance. Let's see, alliance. Um, that is my alliance ally. I am Looney Harvester in this game. My ally. Is my ally gonna get on soon? No cargo. It would be a very hard attacking level 9 base. Let's show you all a battle. Pretty simple, just three shots and it's dead. You or the enemy are dead. Three shots. More battleship parts. Um, 
what we use the parts for is to upgrade our starships. It's kind of like that Star Wars hero thing. Oh, shoot. He was online. That's his starship. See, that's the first actual starship that actually looks like not a hunk of junk. Um, but, see, it does not look... look um, it does not look like a hunk of junk. Yes, I named my uh, alliance Life Keepers. See, it's actually got, like, the engines. It actually looks like a Star Trek starship. Except for this one. This one kind of looks like it. We can still reach our starships. It kind of looks like it with that engine. And the shuttle looking piece in the middle. That's about it. It doesn't really look, look like a Star Trek starship. Okay, he was on last night. Let's just keep on doing some more battles. Um, I don't really know what to do. I mean, it's almost Christmas, guys. I will actually make a small event video. I mean, just a few more days and then it's Christmas. Um, these are easy hostiles. Let's go to the galaxy. This is what the galaxy looks like. I'm going to come to this system and attack enemies. Now, you can attack other players, but you need to be level 10 to attack starships. And you need to be level 15, and they need to be level 15 and 10 to fight back. So, if you have a level 15 starship... You can go ahead and attack someone else's base. That's level 15. If you have a level 10, you can go ahead and attack someone's base, someone else's starship. That's level 10. It's kind of like that. Um, and yes, he is warping. And you can do this. Manage. You can actually take a look at your starships while they're in warping or even moving. I mean, this, this starship actually makes it look like there's nothing. But we have some officers. We have quite a few people on this. We've got about five. Okay. We need to target the level eight guys. We need to kill five of them. These are extremely easy for me. I got an item. I just defeated something and I got an item. PVE chest. Open it. Let's see what I get. One minute speed up. Now, I need to actually target everything level 5. Otherwise, it won't work. Now... Actually, level 8 and higher. Otherwise, I won't work. And I need to destroy five of them. Now, that other starship that I have at base, I would use it. But it's not really a battle starship. That thing's usually meant for mining. Let's take a look at this. We've already destroyed three out of five. Four out of five. There we go. Oh, I need to destroy 10. And do I? Oh, no. Uh, okay, so. Okay, so I do need to actually destroy 10. Okay. 
I seem to have gone down in power a little bit. Yeah, the battle's starting without me looking, so what? Oh wait, no, that's because I just unlocked a new person. Nice new character. We can level everyone up using the uh, officer things. You know that green thing that I got when I got my officers? Yeah. That little green cube, that's for leveling people up. Six. Okay, so I got two PVE chests, I think. Yep. Let's see what I get. Rewards. Explore and Battleship. Ooh, leveled up. Seven. I know it might look boring, but it is a little fun. I mean, it kind of does get a little addicting after a while, which is what you're seeing here. Oh, we can claim an, we can claim the 10 minute box, meaning this video has been going on for a little bit longer than 10 minutes. Let's see what we get. Ta-da! I got ship experience. That'll help me level up my starships a little bit more. Let's target this last guy, and then we're going to head back to base with him. And anyway, we're going to have to repair every starship. So if our starship gets very damaged, we need to repair it. Otherwise, we're gonna, otherwise it's going to get destroyed. Don't worry, repairing it just costs us, like, the titanium or something. I don't know what it's called. We win. Let's actually get this guy to go back to base. Let's go back to Galaxy. And we can just press system and we go back to our system. We need to mine 100 plus deal. So we're sending over our mining ship. We completed two daily goals. Now we should actually be able to open up another box. There we go. Milestone reward. 20 recruit tokens. Let's recruit. Let's recruit again. Let's do this. View. So, we should. Okay, just ignore that. Just ignore it. Yes, I subscribe to other, other people, okay? Uh, let's, let's see what we get. Officer experience, Grace Chen, Gonzalez, I just call her Gonzalez. And we got no one new, we got the same people, we got some of the same people, yeah, I already have them. 
and then I have him, which is that he actually looks disturbing. Look, I got repair speed ups are completely different. And if you get to five minutes, um, to below five, to about one second below five minutes, destroy him. Yeah, I'm not going to let any guy go free. But if you were to, um, kind of level up your starships to where... I forgot what I was talking about. Okay, but you actually have to equip crew onto your starships. And you'll be able to do a little bit more stuff. You can mine with any starship. To head back to base. See, if we go to manage, there are, like, level up signs. Uh, actually, I'm going to show you with the newest one of my edition. Yes, the, um, the mining starship is actually my strongest miner. It's actually kind of my second strongest starship. It's not really meant for battle. That's the reason why. Now, we can equip people onto our starships. So we have Orion Gala. She's actually in Orion. Um, wait. Confirm changes. I need to click confirm changes every time. Otherwise, it won't do anything. It'll just send you to that. Are you sure you want to do something without any changes? Okay, now look. Has a better cargo bay. And we can also level it up. Ship ability upgraded. Um, that means it's going to have a better mining laser. And it's mostly just a quick tutorial on the game. That's what I've been doing. Oh, and you always get this winner thing over in the corner. You don't really win anything because you never did really much. You just battled or something. And it calls you a winner. At least you do achieve and get something. Dilithium is actually kind of rare. You need that to... Um... Okay, so I'm also going to show you one last little trick. It's called research. You're going to need to research stuff. So eventually you're going to get to the point where you want stronger starships. So your first starship you're going to get by unlocking it is going to be the Orion Corvette. Then the second starship you're going to get is most likely going to be Fortunate, which is the mining one. It's, it's in station. That's the only way you can unlock it. You may start doing that. Shout out to all those people that I'm seeing so I don't get sued. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. And if we go to combat, you're gonna be able to unlock grade 2 starships after you unlock reinforced bulkhead, shield efficiency, and evasive maneuvers. Then you're gonna need to unlock this, which you're gonna need level 10 R&D department. Meaning you're gonna need to level up your space station again. So that means you're going to need to level up your R&D department to like level 9 to what we need. Oh wait, no. We need Dry Dock B. Um, the more research you do, the better stuff you get in return.
That's Prime Halls, Prime Shield. We're going to need to unlock this in order to get to anything else. Like Turas, that's going to be after you unlock Paranda or whatever it's called. And then Tala, which is another two star. It goes all the way up to three star. Grade three st ship research. And then Terra. And then Interceptor Piercing. And then comes Volux. It's a level three starship. And then Kurumai, level three. And then Battleship Precision. You're going to start unlocking more battleships. Siege Warfare. As well, it just gets crazy. This, you have to get R&D department to level 26. And you have to have a certain amount of clean-on points. If you want to join the clean-on. Same with the modulated federation. Same with the federation and the Romulans. I'm gonna try and join the Romulans, and then you get to start unlocking their starships. Oh, hi, Tuka. Tuka, stop it! Don't do that, please. It actually kind of does. Yeah. Um. Yes, that was Tuka making that noise. Oh, yes, it does take titanium or tritanium, tritanium to research and also fix your starships and upgrade your starships' um, supplies. So, you saw how I upgraded that hull? I needed to use tritanium. Right now, I'm leveling up the holding cell for the holding thing for tritanium. Need operations level 10, dilithium generator 1 for dilithium stuff. Um, dilithium stuff is gonna be pretty hard to get. You need to have operations level 10. Let's claim this last little thing for y'all. And then I will be off. Let's see what we get. 20 dilithium. Not that good, not that bad. Okay, now we'll end off this episode. Leave a like, subscribe, um, comment, hit that bell for notifications for every time I upload. I'm not uploading that much because school's getting involved. So, yeah. Bye.